It's time to pick out the Christmas trees now, and there's some added excitement for military families in Hampton Roads this holiday season. Some of our troops are headed home, many to a freshly cut Christmas tree free of charge. Ted your Science Ann McNamara spoke with families at Little Creek Fort Story about what it means to have both troops home and trees, too. Each one of these 300 trees is a donation from a private grower to a military family in Hampton Roads. Trees for troops, they call it, because... What would be Christmas without a tree? And what would be Christmas without a loved one? For many at Little Creek Fort Story, this is the message that will bring the irreplaceable gift. Our troops in Iraq will definitely be home for the holidays. We asked Captain Stupard how many. I don't know the numbers, but I know definitely that a lot of the deployers are from this area, actually from this very base. And on this very day, those picking trees can sympathize with the anticipation. My best friend April McCuller, her husband's coming home next week from the bush. Just in time for Christmas. The Simpson family knows the feeling all too well. The past two years, they shared a tree only through pictures. My husband just got back from Afghanistan, and he also served a tour in Iraq in 09, so I definitely know how it feels to be without your loved ones during the holiday season. All these families share the common bond of sacrifice. He is at work <laughs> right now. He wished he could be here, but duty calls, I guess. And for those who answer that call, these trees are on the house. And you can bet they'll be in them, ready for a special someone to walk through the door. I hope he gets home and sees the Christmas tree and has a Merry Christmas. And McNamara, 10 on your side. Makes you smile. The Trees for Troops program sent another 300 trees overseas to bring a little holiday cheer to those who won't be home for Christmas.